Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk about hot and cold uh, potatoes or routing preference as you may have heard about it. Really what I'm thinking about is, well there were services so I can think, well we have different Azure regions and in those Azure regions there are many different types of service. I could think about, well there's things like storage services, there's SQL services, there's managed databases, a huge number of different services. And if I'm not accessing them via ExpressRoute Microsoft peering, so advertising those public facing services via BGP over the private connection, or I'm not exposing them via private endpoints and then VPN into that virtual network, we're accessing them via the internet essentially. And I can think about, well, there's lots and lots of Azure regions all throughout the world all having those various services. So maybe there's kind of storage and SQL and all the others over there as well. And then we have the great big Microsoft backbone network. And all of the regions have kind of connectivity to that great big Microsoft backbone network. Then at the same time, I can think, well, here's my building where I'm kind of sitting and I have connectivity, and I have connectivity via an ISP. So I have a kind of an ISP connection. And once again, that ISP kind of has their network, but it's a lot more kind of zigzag. It might be different ISPs. They may not have a connection spanning the world, and they offload to various other networks. But essentially, we have the ISP network, also known kind of as the internet. The internet is really just a bunch of ISP networks that connect to each other via carrier neutral facilities. And it's at those carrier neutral facilities I can think about, well, all around kind of the world, there are these edge locations at carrier neutral facilities. We also call them points, points of presence. And Azure, the Microsoft network, expands into those. And the goal is Microsoft kind of want to expand into all these different points of presence to ideally for all of the major ISPs have kind of that direct connectivity to all of the different ISPs all around the world. But it's at these points I can think about the Microsoft Backbone Network meets the ISP networks. Now ordinarily, Microsoft will try and keep the traffic, get it onto the Microsoft network as quickly as possible and keep it there for as long as possible. The Microsoft network is this highly available, highly reliable network, very low latencies. And so I can think, okay, if I'm here and I'm going to go and access that resource over there, what normally is going to happen, the path it's going to take, so this resource and all resources essentially use any cast BGP advertisement. So all of these different points of presence, technically I can go and get to that resource, or any Microsoft resource. And the way it will work is, hey, it will try and get onto the Microsoft network as quickly as possible. So if I'm trying to get to here, what will actually happen is, by default, the way the routing works, is, hey, here, I'm going up here, hey, I'm going to get onto the network, I'll travel over the Microsoft network, go in and get to the resource. On the path back, it will again stay on the Microsoft network as long as possible and then hop off at the point closest to kind of me. So this is kind of known as this cold potato because, hey, with the traffic, I'm keeping it as long as I possibly can. I'm holding on to it and then kind of just letting it go at the last possible moment. So that's the default Microsoft routing preference. But there is an alternative approach. There's also kind of an internet. And with the internet, if I, if I select that option, the traffic this time will actually kind of follow the internet and only offload at the closest possible point to the resource where it will go up. And once again, the return journey will go the same way. So now that's kind of a hot potato because, hey, Microsoft Network's going to try and get rid of it as quickly as possible. It's hot, get rid of that traffic onto the internet pipe. Now I'm basically relying on the, the internet, the ISP's resiliency, availability, 
latency is probably going to be worse. But generally, this is going to be cheaper. There is a difference in the egress. And obviously, the, the inbound and outbound path are the same. So essentially, I'm going to pay less money for the egress traffic if I go this internet routing preference as opposed to the Microsoft. But I'm going to get, obviously, the reliability, the availability, the latency of my ISP, the internet, compared to staying on the Microsoft network and getting onto it as quickly as possible. So that's really the difference between them. I have that cold potato, Microsoft network, hot potato, hey, the internet routing preference. And I can use this on a number of different services. Uh, the first one is a public IP. So if we actually hop over and we'll actually go and look at a configuration here, what I'm looking at is here we can see on a regular public IP address, I have to do the standard SKU. So I'm picking SKU standard. This is in preview, so you may not see this. You have to go and sign up for the preview. But when I pick standard, you'll see I now have this routing preference option. And my routing preference can be, hey, I want to be either the Microsoft network or I want the internet. So obviously, if I pick Microsoft network, that's the default. That's going to get onto the Microsoft network as quickly as possible. And then when it's egressing, stay on the Microsoft network as long as possible. If I pick internet, then it's going to take that hot potato path and really stay on the internet as long as possible and get back onto the internet as quickly as possible. And then those public IPs, well, I can connect those to virtual machines, virtual machine scale sets, all of those standard types of service. And once again, you're going to do this for cost purposes. It's cheaper. Um, if we actually go and look at the pricing page, if I can find the pricing. So here, let's jump back over to this. If we scroll down on the pricing page, and remember, ingress is free. It doesn't really change anything about the ingress price because data transfer is free. But it's going to take the same path for ingress and egress. Now, if I look at internet egress, now we have these two different options. We can see there's one is internet egress. So this is the standard routed via the Microsoft Premium Global Network. So that's the regular one. And then there's also this internet egress via routing preference standard tier, i.e. the internet. And if you look at the prices, there's a, a little bit of a difference. Um, obviously, the, the larger the amount of traffic, sometimes you can see the difference a bit bigger. But essentially, you're comparing these values up here with the values down here, and you'll see they are cheaper. So these bottom prices are cheaper because now you're using the internet more for the travel of your traffic than the Microsoft backbone. So the reason we're really going to pick this option is, so I'm willing to sacrifice kind of the latency, the reliability, the availability of Microsoft to save some money on the actual network traffic. Now, we can also see this for storage accounts. If I go and look at my storage account, if I actually go and look at networking on my storage account, we can see here there's actually two different areas. One is routing preference. So once again, I can pick, do I want to prefer Microsoft network over internet routing? But also, we can actually publish route-specific endpoints for Microsoft and or internet routing that's going to show up for blob, data lake, web, and files. Now, the default is Microsoft network routing, but also now there are specific endpoints for those services created. If I go to the properties, we can actually see them. For blob now, we can see, well, hey, there's the standard blob endpoint. And then there's also two additional ones because I selected to publish for Microsoft Network and Internet. And we can see, well, look, there's a kind of postfix of Microsoft routing and one that is Internet routing for blob. And then I'll see the same for files. I'll see the same for data lake. And I'll see the same for the static website. So what that means is now there's a default routing path, but I can also pick the specific paths 
if maybe for some use I want to go to Microsoft, some I want to go find the internet. And we can see they actually resolve differently. So if I firstly take, well actually, let's just take the regular without anything. So remember my default is Microsoft. That's what I've got configured in the account. So here, if I do an NS lookup for the regular endpoint, I can see it resolves to this kind of blob, SNO, basically the stamp where I'm stored. So now, let's actually go and look at the dash Microsoft routing option. Remember, that's the default anyway. So if we do another NS lookup, this time we'll add in that kind of suffix. It resolves to the same. So there's no difference. I can see those values that it's resolving to here and up here are exactly the same. Whoops, are exactly the same. Now let's look at the internet one. So the internet one is just internet routing. So we'll do a lookup again. And this actually, you can see, resolves to a different name. This now resolves this blob dash internet routing and then the stamp plane. Now, if I was to change my default configuration, so if I go to networking and now say I want internet routing as the default, so it's saving that, and now jump back over again and do an NS lookup on the regular endpoint, now you can see it resolves to the internet routing name. So that's how I can use that for storage. I actually have that ability. So A, there are separate endpoints. I can choose to publish by checking these little boxes down here, but I don't have to, or I could just change the regular routing preference. So I have all of those different options. And if you actually looked around, you, you can kind of do a trace route and you'll see they actually take different paths. You, you'll see the paths do differ if I'm using the Microsoft routing as opposed to kind of the internet routing. But most of it you can't get the details of, so you won't see a whole lot, but you will see the paths kind of diverge up here compared to the two routes. So you will actually see it. So that is kind of the, the routing preference option we now have for public IPs and storage accounts. Again, it's in preview, but it's really all about, hey, cold potato is the default. And generally that's what you want because that's getting it onto the Microsoft network and keeping it on the Microsoft network as long as possible and only handing it over when I have to. But we do have kind of that hot potato. Um, we, we stay on the internet as long as possible. Really, that's a pricing thing. That's why you would do that. Or you considered your ISP had a better network than Microsoft. Um, I don't know of any, uh, but that would be the other reason. But now again, the egress is cheaper because you're using the Microsoft network less. So I hope that was useful. If it was, um, please go ahead and give this video uh, a like, um, subscribe, comment, and share. And until next time, take care.